with first place on the MAC East on the line. Wednesday night's game between Buffalo and Ohio looked to be one of the most pivotal games in the conference thus far. But unfortunately for the Bobcats, it was the Bulls who came on top by a final score of 69 to 64. It looked like it was going to be a cakewalk for the Bulls after they pushed their second half lead to 48 to 31. But an unconventional group of Bobcats put Ohio right back into the game. With Treg Setti, John Smith, Bean Willis, TJ Hall, and Travis Wilkins on the floor, Ohio went on a 12 0 run to bring them back within five points. Throne was the kickstarter to the second half surge for the Bobcats, who cut Buffalo's lead to 65 to 64 after a Kellogg three with just over a minute to play in the game. But those would be the last points the Cats would score on the night as the Bulls sealed the game with stout defense and two sets of free throws. With under a minute to play and down 67 to 64, Ohio had a chance to tie it up but they just couldn't get a decent enough look to put it into overtime. As expected, Javon McRae led the way for the Bulls. The big man finished with 15 points while grabbing seven rebounds. For Ohio, Nick Kellogg was the leading scorer with 15, but it was Treg Setti who stood out for the green and white. The forward had a career-high nine points while adding five boards. He also was a huge factor in that second-half run. I think a lot of it was, you know, when we played at Buffalo, we had a, a bunch of big plays and a bunch of big stops. And uh, tonight we just weren't able to pull through. Don't look now, but there's only three games left in the regular season for the Bobcats and only one game left in the convo, which means it's senior day on Saturday when they take on the Kent State Golden Flashes for a 2 p.m. tip-off. For WAB Sports, I'm Patrick Moore.